I was looking for whiteboards for a while and believe it or not some of them can be quite expensive so I decided to try out the X board whiteboard uh, and uh, figured I'd show uh, how it's set up and it, its contents compared to some of the other uh, whiteboards out there. It's about 18 pounds so you might need help um, holding it up against the wall with with someone else when you're initially setting up just kind of depends on how you angle it. I was able to um, to do it myself but it was a little awkward. Once you open inside there's going to be some padding over the whiteboard um, with how rough some of these shipments are treated you never know whether it's going to be uh, dinged on the inside. Uh, let's find out how this one fared. Uh, and there's the um, screws and wall mounts that you're going to use. No dings this time which is nice. There's a little instruction booklet and of course some saran wrap type covering to, to peel off once you get the tape out of the way of course. There's also an instruction manual, uh, pretty short, but you're essentially going to put the wall mounts in to the wall, you just hammer them in um, once you've drilled, you know, pre-drilled some holes. And then um, even though it tells you to kind of slide them in once the whiteboard's on the wall, you do probably want to get the mounts in first and then get the whiteboard on and then get the screws in and the, and the caps on afterwards. I haven't had any real issue um, with markers, just as long as you use like a Expo pen or, or something like that, um, something that's not permanent, it should work just fine. This is what I'm talking about. You want to either measure the whiteboard up against the wall or just measure the dimensions and then just pre-drill some holes in and then once you've done that pop some of the white spacers in the wall from there you just uh, take some of the screws and drill it in also show you the back just kind of got a reflective coating on it. And this is what it looks like once it's actually mounted on the wall. What I like to do is you push the screw in first before you start drilling just to make sure it's sitting securely in the in the wall mount and just take like a manual screwdriver or something like a DeWalt and screw it in. And here's the caps too. And you want to make sure that that export logo is facing on the bottom and then they, they come with like a, a little permanent marker mount. You can just slide that into the middle. There you have it. I think this is a pretty good um, value whiteboard compared to a few of the other ones out there that are a few hundred bucks. Um, so thanks for watching.